Well, it seems many of you are having a tough time recycling your bottles and cans and then getting back those deposits. Our I-team first exposed this problem a few months back, and now they're learning it doesn't stop there. Retailers owe the state millions of dollars, money that could help fix the recycling program. But the state has failed to collect it. The I-team's Lolita Lopez shares now what's going on. For every can and bottle you recycle, you get back a five or ten cent CRV. But many consumers, like Mark Milan, say easier said than done. I showed up with an entirely full car of cans. His local recycling center shut down. And they were closed. It said gone out of business. Along with hundreds of others throughout the state. That now means many retailers who sell the single-use beverages are required to take back the empty cans and bottles. But the state gives stores an out. Instead of taking your recyclables, they can opt to pay a daily $100 fine. The I-team found many don't. More than 400 retailers owe the state nearly $10 million. As a good corporate citizen, they should be following the law. According to CalRecycle, the agency that runs the state's recycling program, Walgreens owes $172,000, Walmart $312,000, CVS $445,000. In a statement to the I-Team, CVS says, we are aware of CalRecycle's claims and disagree with their allegations. Walgreens said, we've been working with the state to resolve this matter and can confirm that payments have been processed for any outstanding balance due. Walmart did not respond to us. But it's not just retail giants. Mom and pop shops owe big money too. One local store owes 94,000, a gas station 85, all adding up to nearly $10 million. I'm, I'm appalled. Jamie Court is with Consumer Watchdog. It's the state's fault. The state's the cop on the beat. The uh, grocery stores and the retail chains have been definitely bilking the system. But it's the obligation of the state to smack their knuckles. So what's CalRecycle doing to collect on its past due accounts? It recently fined CVS $3.6 million for refusing to pay the daily fine. As for other retailers, CalRecycle told the I-team it sends monthly collection notices. And it said while legal action takes time and resources, it will continue to be utilized for the largest violators. Court says it's clear the daily fines aren't working. He says the state should simply require all retailers to take back recyclables. The importance of the return to retailer is that it is easy, you get your money, every retailer in the state should have to participate. Mark's on board with that. I want to stop giving you my money because you're not giving it back according to the rules. Now, state lawmakers have introduced legislation to fix the recycling problem, but it has always fallen through. Consumer Watchdog says it's looking to Governor Newsom to step in and fix the problem. And, of course, we'll continue to follow yeah, it's on a lot that. Of money that could it's be a lot of money. Use. $10 million. Exactly. All right. All right, Lolita.